Okay, Wongi. Yeah, stop arguing. It's time for you to get some kick. Get in there. Lads, lads. Huh? Look, the viewers are still here. Oh, yes, hello. What are you still doing here? This show finished ages ago. I mean, we're packing away all the props. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't you be down the shopping centre bugging some security guards? That's where we're going after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. darn right. <laughs> oh, but you know what? There's so many memories in all these props oh, and everything. So, right? so many memories in the whole studio, Catherine. You know what I mean? I ought to. Wouldn't it be absolutely wicked if someone had spent hours and hours and hours putting the best message of us on TV on the tape? Well, that would be amazing. That would be double mega. No, that'd be triple mega. No, it'd be quadruple mega April. I know. So, flip it, get on with it. Mmm. <sighs> I choose repeated towel flicks. No! Uh, repeated towel flicks? Yes. No. No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No, no go. Ah. No go can do repeated towel flicks. And welcome to a new quiz centering around the world of pop, imaginatively titled Pop Quiz. <laughs> it's my idea. <laughs> I wanted to call it Lord Archibald Flapjack, but we decided that that would be stupid. Back off the phone! Back off the phone! Back off the phone! Who is that in the background? Who is that in the background? No. Who was Mom? it? Mom! Mom! Your mum's rubbish as well! <laughs> what was she coming out with, Brazen B? Oh, Do you not understand, woman? <laughs> oh, Ducky! Are you there? Ducky? Well, is he in the farmhouse or hiding in a ditch? For goodness sake, Ducky, tell me which. <laughs> of course I'm here! I'm always here, aren't I? Stupid farmer, you'll find yourself in the ditch if you don't come up with a better rhyme next week. Uh, yes, yes, Ducky. Excuse me, just a moment. Uh, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Really? I jumped at the chance to bring another dimension to the Garden Goblin. And you did, love. And you did. Thank you. For was it not Shakespeare himself who said... Dizzy water, dizzy water, dizzy water! Of no. course! <laughs> This is a beautiful song for some very beautiful people. We think you know who they are. That's right. It's us. Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? I mean, only silly and probable things like that happen in chums. I don't know. Used <clears> to. <throat> I've been watching too much telly. Ha! Right, I'll get his face, you get his heart, liver, lungs and family jewels. Good idea. <laughs> ah! God! Ow! Ah! 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 So wrong. You are so wrong. You're wrong. Oh. You're just too stupid to admit it. Shut up. 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 It's day seven in the big idiot house and tension is brewing. <laughs> the mayors, Anthony and Declan, are arguing over the silliest of things. How can, how can, how can you even think it? You uneducated half-wit. Look, I don't think it. I know it's your fool. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll settle this, OK? Ant says red, Declan says yellow. You are, in fact, both wrong. It's green. Dipsy is green. Oh. No. <laughs> All right. Right, and you are quite clear which one is your dressing room, aren't you? Your dressing room is the one with your name on it, my dressing room is the one with my name on it. Yeah, yeah, so, sorry I walked in on you earlier. I misread the sign. Oh. Uh, thanks very much. Ladies and gentlemen. Now it's time for my Sabrina poem of the week. <clears throat> uh, the, uh... Sorry, you've got to stop me there, my friend. <laughs> Why uh, because that? I'm afraid you can't do a poem this week because Sabrina's lawyers have, uh, where are we? Sabrina's lawyers have been back on again. You're joking us. Yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, I can't, what can't I write about her this time? What part of her body? Just a couple of things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the tape still on it. All right, all right, okay, just a couple of things. Look at the head, see? Yeah. <laughs> the feeling of the night when I win the Whiff Blast Wrestling International Federation Championship. 
Get off my land! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it could be a lightweight cut there. And couldn't you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> couldn't you do anything? <laughs> Do any better than, than this? Than the farmer. Well, eh? It's not very short business, and you brought the camera on it. Dear Aunt Dick and Cat, as long as I can remember, my dad has done eggy pumps. He started, to, <laughs> he started to catch them in his hand and throw them in my face as a joke. Ah! What a class dad! Well, How can you well, not, but just recently, he's. <laughs> Have a biscuit and let the pub smell out in their face. <laughs> That's how so we got done. Thanks. <laughs> 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 oh, ridiculous, man. No, no, get crashes, please, at my party. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Listen, Declan, what's the matter? Are you okay? It's my party, cat, and I'll cry if I want to, right? <laughs> right. Spot for oh, you. Spot. She really, really likes you. Okay, call number one is uh, Rochelle Bassier from Putney. Good morning. Hi. Hi. You've got ten seconds. Ten seconds. What's that? I think the city. Uh, city. Oh, uh, city. Uh, city. Oh, uh, city. 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 Did you have a clue what she was on not about? Not a clue. No, not a clue. Not a clue. All right. Good to get in. Good to get in. Good to get in. Good to Lee Atkins from Birmingham. Good to get in. Good to get in. Lee. Hi. Hi. Right, you got ten seconds. Watch this. Flat cat. Um, talking cat. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a little cat, which is called a what? A little cat called a what? A little cat called a what? <laughs> Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> Line three, Gary Taylor from cut it, cut it, cut it. Good morning, Gary. Hiya. Hiya, all right, ten seconds, what's that? Whippy Kitty. No, <laughs> no. It's giving it its full Pussy name. Pussy. Give it its full name. It's. <laughs> Give it its full name. Something kitten. What? Kitten. Yeah, mm. oh. oh. Did you say kitten? Yes, kitten. Oh, sorry. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Line four. Line four, Monia. Delini from Northern Ireland. Good morning, Monia. Hi. All right, ten seconds. Shut up, Dex. What's this? Kitty, kitty. No, no. Kitty, kitty. It's, 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 it's a kitten. It's, 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 a little, it's, 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 it's a kitten that's got a soft spot for you. Very pleased. Kitty, kitty. What? Shut up! We said it's a kitten! <laughs> it's Come a on. kitten, man! Listen to us! Turn up your tally! Anyone? Oh! Line five, Joseph Cowell from Staffordshire. Good morning. Hi. All right, Joseph, you're the last person this week. Otherwise, it goes to a rock and roll it's over a next kitten. week. It's Ten a seconds. Kitten who's got a soft spot for you. He really, um, really likes What it. is it? Lady Kitten. Uh, oh, shut oh, up! Uh, kitten, um. It's got a rhyme. Sleeping kitten. It's got a soft spot for you. Soft spot kittens. Oh, shut up! And get out! Get out! Oh. Shut up! And get out! Hello, children. Here's the garden where Auntie and Decky, the garden goblins, live. Shall we call them? Hello, Auntie. Hello, Auntie. Oh, oh, 20 men, 20 men, 20 men. Hello, Decky. Curry, no more curry, no more curry. Right then, boys. Remember that today is a special day. Yeah. The Giggle Fairy is getting married to Dingle Nut, the compost heat troll, here in the SMTV garden. Auntie, you go and get your marrying hat on. And Decky, you get the big wedding feast ready. I do love a garden wedding. Don't you, Decky? Oh, yes, yes, yes! What bit do you like best? Oh, dizzy water, dizzy water, dizzy water! Hmm, I'm not sure you're old enough for dizzy water. You're only a little goblin, remember? Oh, <laughs> oh Auntie, you do look nice in your marrying hat. 
where are the bride and groom? <laughs> Giggle fairy. She does look nice, doesn't she? Oh, scrummy, scrummy, scrummy. Marry me, marry me, marry me. Nosy, nosy, nosy. Dingle nut, dingle nut, dingle nut. That's right, Decky. Giggle fairy's marrying Dingle nut, not you. No, Dingle nut. Gone. Gone? Gone where? You perform the wedding service in Garden Goblinese. Dearly be wobble, gamut we are, to be the way to be wop. Join this he fairy and this he woman. Ha! Chiggy, chiggy, chiggy! Oh, sorry! Join this he fairy and this he goblin. Okey dicky! Gatuka, tuka, wingle, doof, doof, wanga, splat! Dooley, dooley, dooley! Gatuka, tuka, wingle, doof, doof, wanga, splat! What a lovely ah. service. Ah. I'm filling up a pocket. Wedding night, wedding night, wedding night. With me this morning is the live crocodile wrestler himself. It's Mr. Steve Dunnybreath. Hi, Steve. Ah, good day, mate. Say, uh, hot enough for you? Well, it certainly is warm out. Put it away then. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding there, mate. It's, uh, it's a joke. It's got old fashioned Aussie sense of humour. Yes, uh, quite. But where are the real crocodiles, by the way? Are, they, are, they, are there any around yet? They're in the cage, mate. <laughs> you just saw me put them in there. What? <laughs> what? So, so these are real crocodiles? Careful there, mate! They'll have your arm off! If, if, if I don't listen, then I can't hear anything that's going to upset me. That's the best thing to do. I mean, I mean it's not as if I'm going to find them just like rolling around on the floor together, is it? <laughs> stomach is something that everyone wants to achieve and now you can with the SMTV workout video get fit to the sounds of all your Saturday favorites like hey Mr. Postman once upon a time lardy chumsters Ant and Deck decided to fight the flab now they're super fit and dead sexy to lasses says you can dance the pounds away too. These exercises have been specially devised to tone and condition your whole body. For the remaining three quarters, hey Wonky. As well as improving your figure, you'll start to have more energy. Oh, this must be a mistake. It's a letter addressed to Ant. Brilliant. I'll have a look at that. Hey! Hello there. Welcome to Deck Says, the part of your show that deals with your problems. Yes, that's right. I said your show because this is your show. It's not my show. It's your show. You know, I may be the one in front of the cameras making people laugh and sometimes making people cry, but it's all down to you and your problems. Without them, I'd be nothing. So big thanks to you and your problems. Long may they continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, no! She's using the sly female Pokemon of Crybaby just to make me look bad, so I'll have to apologise. I'm actually using pretend Crybaby just to trick them, observe. <laughs> oh, is it a lassie? Uh, I'll never have kids now! <laughs> Missy, no, look, 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 I apologise. Have a free shot, have a free okay. shot. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! That was right in my teeth! Ah, oh, I need your crown! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I defend myself with the other than a girly Pokemon. I choose Brian. Brian! Prizes and the opportunity to gamble those for a big mystery star prize. Without any further ado, let's meet him. The man they're here to challenge is Ant McPartland. <laughs> and 
Welcome to our brand new Poker Business Venture, a Pokemon only video shop. Yes, this is Brock Buster Video Hire, and if it isn't Pokemon, it isn't in. Yes, our motto is run it first time or try again tomorrow. Hello, I'm Anne Robinson. And hello, I'm Anne Robinson. <laughs> Take a little look at this. Very pretty, isn't it? But if you add a small amount of pressure, like this, <laughs> Just look at the result. Now, you may think at home that was a one-off defective, but let me show you. They're all like that! Look at them! Just smashing! Ridiculous! Now then, your letters have been coming in by Wheelbarrow this week because the, uh, they've run out of petrol. <laughs> a little bit of politics there. Dr. Schoenfräulein Schnitzel Cox. That's German, you know. <laughs> this one here is from uh, Mark Stewart in Glasgow. He says, Dear Dex says, I started a new school this term and my new friends all tease me because I've got a bit of a high-pitched voice. I like dancing and skipping and collecting smelly rubbers. Should I change my way to fit in with my mates or should I stand up for myself? Well, Mark, it sounds to me as if these so-called friends of yours aren't, aren't really friends at all, really. I mean, they sound immature, childish and pathetic. But at least they're not big girls' blouses like you dancing and skipping in your smelly rubbers. What are you? A man or a big fluffy pink marshmallow sewing machine. God, when I was your age, I used to play football all day. I used to make cars out of bits of wood and metal. I had a beard when I was your age. In fact, I had hair all over my body. I was that much of a man. If any teacher tried to make me dance and skip or make fairy cakes, I used to stand up to them and I used to tell them. Oh, I used to say to them. Listen to Tarzan over there. Him with a beard. He's got more chance of growing spuds on that face than stubble. He was the biggest sissy of them all at school. He was so wet, people used to try and go swimming in him. As for standing up for himself, his mom only had to have one look at him and he burst into tears. Mind you, she only had to have one look at him and she burst into tears herself. Chuck you. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back, Captain Justice. Mm. Haven't seen you for a little while. No, but I've seen you. Oh, really? Yeah, I waved at you in the swim pool, but you, you didn't wave back. Probably didn't recognise us out of costume. Well, I have never seen you out of your costume, have I? Well, I don't mind if you don't. The zips at the back, do you want to No, I don't think we, we have time for that right now. I think... Live, where our radar operator, Ms. Catherine Dealey, has some, new oh. <laughs> has some news for us. Cat? Incoming uh, paint pig, sir. That's... That's... <laughs> it was my one line! I Cat, <laughs> one line, she couldn't even do that. <laughs> oh, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Boseman.
the mic. 